Megan, thank you. Our complete coverage continues now with Amy Yancey live <laughs> at the scene in Abingdon with more on how this tragedy is devastating a close-knit community. Amy. Hey. Well, Vic, it really warms your heart the way this community is coming together. People have been coming here all day, really, to leave flowers and balloons and notes and just to pray in honor of these fallen deputies who came here to protect and serve but paid the ultimate price. Citizens and those tasked with protecting them joined together in sorrow. Edna Martin drove to Abingdon from Pennsylvania to pay tribute to two men she calls American heroes. I just have a hole in my heart for these people and their families. Flowers, notes, and mementos form a mound of sympathy outside the restaurant where one of two sheriff deputies was shot and killed yesterday. Deputies Pat Daly and Mark Logsdon responding to the scene, unaware that it would be their last act of service. Terry Bowman's husband is a captain with the Harford County Sheriff's Office. Those two lives are never going to be able to hold the husbands again. And I thought it was mine. I went, I fell to my knees because I thought it was my husband. She says it's a fear those who serve and their loved ones learn to live with, but never goes away. Many of the people coming here never met either deputy, but say they wanted to show their respect and show their loved ones that the entire community is in mourning too. So it touches me and it makes me just realize how quick life can be. The Panera Bread where David Evans fired the first fatal shot remains closed in respect for the victims, their families, and those who witnessed the bloodshed. I don't think I'll ever be able to walk inside again. I'll have those two deputies on my mind. The growing tribute, a symbol of unity for a community trying to heal its broken heart. On Sunday, the 21st, people are being encouraged to shine a light in their homes in honor of these two fallen deputies. But many people telling me here they're already honoring them in their homes.